So guys, as you can see, this over here is the LED and this is the potentiometer. Now I move the, rotate the potentiometer, see the LED is fading away. When I go in the opposite direction, the brightness is increasing. See, it increases to maximum. And when I go in the opposite direction, the brightness decreases and goes to off state minimum. See, I can adjust the brightness of an LED using this potentiometer. So let me give you a give quick go through to the code. So guys, this over here, what we did is that we initialize the PWM pin, that is pin number three. And then we use analog read command to read the, read the raw value coming from the potentiometer and stored it in this variable. Now guys, since uh, PWM supports 8 bit 0 to 255 value, we divided the uh, 10 bit ADC value by 4 and brought it in range and then use the analog write command to adjust the brightness of the LED. Simple as that. Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an Arduino Uno to control the brightness of an LED using a potentiometer. So let's get started. So guys, this over here is our Arduino Uno easily available in the market. This is the potentiometer I am talking about. It comes in various shapes, sizes and models, but all have three pins. Let me label them for you. The left one I label as VCC, the center one as the ADC, the right one as the ground. Center is the output pin. Now the good thing is you can shuffle the first and the last pin, VCC and the ground. Only the difference it will bring is that instead of going clockwise, your value will, if your value was increasing from uh, clockwise and you have the VCC on the left and ground on the right, then when you shuffle the VCC and the ground, then it, the, the same operation will go in the anti-clockwise. The rest will remain the same. So no issue with the programming. Now guys, the point is, let's connect them. For the VCC pin, I connected with the 5 volt pin of your Arduino. And for the ADC pin, you can use any ADC pin of your Arduino Uno. You have 6 pins from A0 to A5. I am going to use the pin number A0. For the ground pin, just connect it to the ground of the Arduino Uno. Now guys, this over here is our LED. One pin is the longer and one pin is the shorter. I name the longer pin as the power, the shorter pin as the ground. Now guys, for the shorter pin, you just directly connect it with the ground, common ground of your circuit. Now for the longer pin, you will need a resistor. This resistor can be of any value from 100 to some what value, whichever you prefer. Higher the value of the resistor, the dimmer the LED will go. So I will be using a 220 ohm resistor. It's an ideal resistor. So connect the longer pin to the one end of the 220 ohm resistor like this. From the other end of this 220 ohm resistor, you will just connect it to any available PWM pins. Arduino Uno have six PWM pins. And you can see this small mark on it. This mark over approximation sign. This shows that this pin is PWM. So you have three, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. You can use any of these pin having an approximation mark because they are the PWM pins. So I will connect it to pin number three. Now guys, this is our connection. Now we will program the Arduino in such a way that uh, this potentiometer I am using is 10K. You can use any other value as well. So whenever I will rotate this potentiometer, so the brightness of the LED will change. Uh, the more I rotate the potentiometer, at one extreme end, the LED will be the brightest. And if I rotate it in the opposite direction, at the one extreme end, it will be off. So in the center, it's uh, it will be like fading in a fading out of an LED. So let's do the programming. Before we move on to the programming, let me introduce you to the hardware. So guys, this over here is the hardware that I have. This is the Arduino Uno connected to the PC. This is a cable. This is the potentiometer. You can see that this is a potentiometer here. And there is a previous code going on it. I will just remove it. And that over there is the LED. Now guys, let's move on to programming so we can start doing the programming for this code. So guys, I open the Arduino IDE. Let me zoom in so you guys can see better. Okay, as you can see guys, this is the Arduino IDE version 2.3.2. You can use the higher version as well. Click on file, new sketch. Okay, it's opening the new sketch. This window pops up. Close any previous window now. Okay, zoom in. Okay, now you remove these comments if you want to keep, you can keep them. I don't want to keep them. Okay, now before you do anything else, press Ctrl S to save your work. I write potentiometer based LED fade 
LED brightness tutorial by LM learning microcontrollers. I wrote the, this name. You can write any name you want. Now, guys, the next thing is let's uh, the window appear. Now the file is saved. Now we can move on to the programming. First of all, we declare the pin. Pin mode three as output. This is the PWM pin. Pin three declared as output at which the LED is connected, like this. Now, guys, what I do is that I I will do nothing here. Okay, it's okay. I will do nothing here. Now, guys, what I will do over here is that first of all, we will need to read the value coming from the potentiometer, the raw ADC value. Now, for the values, let me tell you. Arduino Uno has 10 bit ADC and this means 2 power 10 is equal to 1024 means 0 to 1023 digits. So the raw value will be from 0 to 1023 and we don't need that. We will just go directly. So what I do is that I write this command analog read. I have a video on this in which I showed you what this command do analog read from channel 0. Now we have connected the potentiometer at channel pin number A0 that is the ADC pin A0 of our Arduino Uno. Now this command will fetch the ADC value from the potentiometer uh, and the resolution is 10 bit. Now we will need to store the value. Now to store the value we will need an integer or a float. I will take an integer because this is not very accurate sensor, uh, very accurate. So float will be of no use. So I am going to use an integer and I name is pot, the potentiometer. So this pot variable will store the values coming from the potentiometer. So now this command is complete. Analog read from channel 0 and store whatever is read in the pod. Now guys, whatever is read from analog read is stored in pod. Now what we want is that we want the LED to, to like uh, work in PWM. Now for the PWM we have a command. The command we use for the PWM is analog write this command. Now what you do is that our pin is 3 which we have selected and the brightness will be determined by pot here. Now here too I will write a comment here. PWM supports 8 bit that is 2 power 8 equals to 256. So means 0 to 255. So that this value will be from 0 to 255. What we are getting from the raw channel is 0 to 1023. So this will not work. We need to divide it by 4 approximately. Just approximation. So we divide ADC by 4. Or you can also use a calculator to get the exact value. That will also do fine. So uh, you can do that. But... Uh, here, what I am going to do is that I will divide it by 4 so to bring it in this range. So, what I do is that now, instead of directly adding it here, I write here, pot equal to pot divided by 4. Now, you know why I divided it by 4. That's why I wrote this command here. See, now we will divide it by 4 so that we can bring it in range of this to this, this range, 0 to 255. So, analog write that is pin number 3 will write the uh, that is whatever the brightness will come from this so ADC value coming from the potentiometer will be divided by 4 and then it will be fed to the PWM it will act as a duty cycle so this will increase or decrease the brightness of an LED now what I do is that I verify this code if it's correct or not okay the code is verified I click on upload okay the code is being uploaded please wait Okay, the code has been uploaded. Now let's go to the hardware and see what happens. So you can see that the LED is at brightest. Now I rotate the potentiometer. See the LED is fading. Brightness is going down. See I rotated more and it goes off. See it is working. Now again I move it in the opposite direction. See the more I move it the LED's brightness is increasing, 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 increasing. And finally, it is the maximum. Now, I go in the opposite direction. Now, see, if we didn't divide it by 4, then 
this was not to go this much bright it was to be like it till here the 255 value means it was to remain here maximum okay the wire just went out now take a look once once i rotate the potentiometer the brightness increases if i go in the opposite direction it decreases see it is working like a charm as it should have worked so guys this is it i hope you guys learned something from this video i will give you the code in the description of the video you can play with the code and uh, if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments so thank you very much for your time guys we'll see you in the next video